Hi everybody, welcome to Champions Network. I'm Norm, the name everyone knows in real estate. And I'm sitting here talking with Rudy Beck today and I've just come across some amazing new information, some new regulation that have been put out by, uh, by the Veterans Administration. And I'm gonna ask Rudy to just kind of extend a little bit of information about that because I want you to understand Rudy is going to be our keynote speaker on February the 14th at, the, at, at our Champions Networking Meeting at the EDC. All that information is in the show notes below. But Rudy, tell us a little bit about this new regulation. Norm, on September 17th, the VA came out with a new set of regulations regarding the eligibility requirements for aid and attendance benefit. Upon first reading, we were incensed. But what made it worse, Norm, is the VA gave us 29 days to react to that. If we had applications or families that we were in the process of doing an application for, we only had 29 days to get it done to get them grandfathered in. We had 62 families. Wow. Uh, so in our office, we virtually dropped everything and just spent the time on weekends as well to get the work done. We got them all done. But as I was saying, upon first reading these regulations, we were incensed. But then, that's what lawyers do. We look for opportunity buried inside of a vast network of a sea, really, of change in regulations. There are a couple of wonderful nuggets. One, for families that don't have a lot of money, uh, the VA says they can keep $127,061. No questions asked. It does not have to be spent. You can keep it and still qualify to receive the aid and attendance benefit. The second thing they said, your house, you can keep it. They don't care about the value as long as it doesn't sit on more than two acres. So let me ask a quick question. They don't care about the value of the That's home? That's right, Norm. And we're gonna talk a lot more about that at the network, uh, uh, networking event at the EDC. Right. But very quickly, consider this. Say you've got uh, a veteran and his spouse that have been living in the same house for 35 years. Not unusual, 40 years maybe. And that house today that they bought for 15 to 25,000 is now worth 150 to 175,000. Not uncommon either. And they've got say 400 to 500,000 dollars of lifetime savings. What if they were to work with a realtor get out of the house they're currently in and buy one that's now, say, worth 450000 They spend enough on the new house that the only cash they've got left is $127,061 or less. Remember, the house is exempt. Now we can put, give the house away by putting it in a residence protection trust. The remaining cash is exempt and the cars they have is exempt. There's a whole new dynamic um, for the realtors and for the veterans. And because the house is, it is, but because the house is exempt, we can do all of this stuff in advance before we even apply. So if you have somebody that we know is going downhill, they're a veteran or the surviving spouse of a veteran who served during a period of war, we've got a new opportunity here. And it's a new opportunity that will require estate planning and elder law attorneys like me to work with realtors who want to engage in helping veterans, but also engage in boosting their business. Absolutely. So we're not going to spoil this anymore. You have to come to the event on the 14th of February at the EDC. It's at nine o'clock in the morning. We're going to last one hour and one hour only and you just don't want to miss it. You'll be able to get your ticket at Eventbrite. It's all listed below this video. Sign up because room is very tight. We will, we do expect it will be standing room only. I can't wait to see you at the first Champions Network at the EDC on February the 14th at 9 a.m. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the 14th.